what's going on guys Jake the happy snake here and welcome to my banjo kazooie let's play guys this is one of my favorite video games ever okay I'm not even joking I adore this game like I've had so much fun with this game over the last 15 years I've beaten it probably seven or eight times at this point and every single time I play through this game I never ever get sick of it I have just as much fun with it as the last time I played and I am so excited to be doing this let's play I've been wanting to do this let's play for about five or six years but I was never successful at downloading a Nintendo 64 emulator until the other night because the official announcement of Banjo-Kazooie being put into Smash Bros Ultimate this fall gave me the motivation to finally do this let's play like guys I'm so excited that Banjo and Kazooie are gonna be in Smash Bros Ultimate like holy smokes I've been wanting them to be in Smash Bros since I was like 10 years old I never understood why they weren't they weren't put into Super Smash Bros 64 I never got that uh, because Nintendo could have done that like very easily because that's when Rare was still with Nintendo but I mean you know whatever I mean, it sucks that it had, that it, had to take, it, it sucks that it had to take this long but uh, anyways I just talked over throughout the entire intro and I am very sorry about that all right So, yeah, check it out. This game was released in 1998, which is the same year that I was born. Now, like I said, I am going to be playing this game on an emulator, and I practiced a little bit the other night when I downloaded the emulator, the emulator and this game, but uh, yeah, this is going to be very challenging because the last five years that I've played this game, uh, yeah, the last four years that i played this game, I played on an Xbox 360. I haven't even played this game on an, on a Nintendo 64 since about 2014. So yeah, this is gonna be uh, this is going to be tough for sure. But um, you know, guys, just bear with me. And uh, yeah. Anyways, we have three files to choose from. Uh, yeah, file three, he, Banjo is playing on a Game Boy, which I always thought was really cool. Uh, file two, he's cooking, and file one, he is sleeping. And I always select file one, uh, unless. Uh, file one or two are are, are already um, you know like if they're already started. Anyways, guys, here we go. Let's get started. And we got a cutscene here. This cutscene is not too bad. It's a couple of minutes long. It's it's nothing compared to the first cutscene in Banjo Tooie. Like guys, that cutscene is literally like 15 minutes long. Like holy smokes. I never understood why it had to be so long, but this was not too bad at all. There she is! Gruntilda! Dingpot, Dingpot by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Er, but there is this girl. She's like, nope! What do you mean, this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Wow, you must be blind. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. Dingpot must be, must be blind as well. No, 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 you must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Which are two things that Gruntilda is not. And she gets mad in the leaves. Well, we'll see about that. And we see Tootie running down Spiral Mountain here. There's Bottles, the fastest character in Banjo Pilot. Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. And actually, I can press A to speed up the text. But I'm afraid I'm, I'm afraid I'm gonna not be able to keep up with the text if I do that. And Banjo is sleeping in the middle of the day. What is wrong with this guy? She's right, he really is lazy. Wake up, I wanna go on an adventure too! And 
Here comes Grunty! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be. And I actually cannot speed up the text. <laughs> Is that your brother? I love that line. I never understood that. Why the heck? Like, are you are, are you blind, bro? Like, clean your goggles out. Is that your brother? Looks that Granny looks nothing like Banjo. I always thought that line was so funny. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity! Let me go, you ugly old hag. Um, yeah, fun fact. Uh, this cut- this part right here in the Xbox version, they removed all the sound right here because I guess it was too violent. Um, so yeah, cause- uh, so yeah, like in that game, there's no- there's no, uh, noise of- of- of that, like, that- that racket that you hear there. Uh, but anyways! <sighs> and Banjo is now waking up. What do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! And that cutscene is more than a couple of minutes. I said it was a couple of minutes, but it's more like four minutes, but whatever. Again, it's not nearly as bad as the first cutscene in Banjo-Tooie. Anyways, this is our house. Well, bit, well, Banjo's house. And we leave, and look who tries to stop us. It's Bottles. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this is he here's my, my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can, can I talk? Better than you can, cockle boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or B if you think you're already good enough. And I'm gonna press B because I know I'm good enough. You bet we're good enough, Bottle Brain. Hmm, very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. So, uh, there are seven different bottles in Spiral Mountain here. Uh, there's that one, and then there's five, uh, one of them being right here. There's five uh, bottles around Spiral Mountain here, and, and he teaches you the basic moves that I already know now, thanks to me pressing B. Um, again, playing this on an emulator, so this is gonna be hard to get used to. Um, but before we, uh, yeah, before, I, I, I can, I mean, I can leave Spiral Mountain right now, but before I do that, I'm going to collect six of these empty honeycomb pieces, uh, because these will give you, um, shoot, there we go. These will give you, uh, if you, if you collect six of these, you will get an extra honeycomb added to your health bar, so, yeah, I would like to do that. I've, I've actually seen speedrunners beat this game with the five honeycombs that you start off with right here, which I could never do, like, holy smokes. And I couldn't get there, unfortunately, but that was a life that's actually really pointless to get because um, this is pretty much like Super Mario 64. When you turn off the game, you have the same number of lives that you, like, you start off with the same number of lives every single time. So, it, I mean, yeah, it's kind of pointless to get. Um, there's also a life on top of, uh, oh, you idiot. There's also a life on top of uh, Banjo's house, and I'm actually very determined to get that, that one up, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. There we go. <laughs> that thing sounds really weird. <laughs> Alright, I got two more, or not two more, uh, four, uh, three more honeycomb pieces. Yeah, I forget how many I, 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 I had uh, for a second there. Um, okay, so, there's one in the water here. Right here. Okay, come on, what are you doing? There we go. Alright. 
Again, guys, uh, just bear with me. I, I promise you, I am, like, I'm better, I'm usually better than this because I'm, I usually put, like, I, now I always play this game on the Xbox 360. Uh, so yeah, if it looks like I'm doing really bad, it's because I'm still trying to get used to the controls, um, you know, like playing this on a computer. I did not mean to pause there. Alright, so, there we go. This attack is, uh, useful for, like, switches and stuff. missing one more which is over here yeah this music is a lot more cheerful than the spiral mountain music in banjo tooie oh my goodness the the spiral mountain music in that game is, is very depressing and i will explain uh actually at the end of the game I don't really need to explain that right now. Anyways, guys, that's actually all that we have to do here in Spiral Mountain. Uh, so, let's go meet Bottles at the top, like he was saying. Yeah, this camera is gonna be very annoying. That's the only thing, uh, but that's, that's the only thing with these controls that I'm kind of struggling with. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm so excited for Banjo Kazooie to be in Smash Bros. Like, oh my goodness, I actually never thought I would see the day, but it's finally here. Um, yeah, I'm just so happy. It's kind of one of the main reasons why I'm doing this Let's Play. I'm so happy with that. So, are you ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. I wasn't pressing either. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, um... The bridge is complete. If you try to come up here uh, without, like, if uh, if you select to have bottles teach you all the moves, like, like if you select A, like, like if you select A, because I selected B, right? So I didn't have to learn any any of the any of the moves because I already know all the moves in this game. But if you decide to select, uh, if you decide if you decide to select A, then uh, and, and you try to come up here, you won't be able to come up here because the bridge won't be complete. Um, yeah, so that's just one thing that you want to keep in mind anyways guys that is all i'm going to do for this video thank you guys very much for watching next time i'm going to be heading into gruntilda's lair thanks guys for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you all next time peace